So celebrations on second base after hitting a double have become a huge part of baseball at all levels, major leagues, college, high school, even youth levels over the last probably 10 years or so. And I personally, I don't have a problem with this, but here's an example of when that can go wrong. So this is a high school video. It's a playoff game from last year that I stumbled upon. And this video was made by Carr. 98 sports media on YouTube. So check out the full game on their page if you'd like. And this video is not meant to call out any of the players that are in this video. I purely want to use this as a coaching and teaching point. So we get a ball driven here in the gap over the left fielder's head. Left fielder's gonna pick it up, throw it in the seconds. The runner's going to do a celebration, but the shortstop is paying attention. He runs over, tags him, and he's out. So let's rewind here as the runner is coming into the bag. So the runner is going to come into the bag here. He's going to step on second. He's going to turn to his dugout. He has his finger up. He's going to do some type of slamming motion here. Now watch the shortstop. So he catches the ball and he wisely starts to walk over. I don't know if they realized that the team was doing celebrations and coming off the bag earlier in the game. Maybe they scouted this, or maybe the shortstop just always does this just in case they come off the bag. So his left foot is on the bag right here. He's gonna do this slamming action. And now as he comes up, he's yelling, he's all excited. And the shortstop is just waiting for that left foot to come off the bag, which it does right there. Umpire does a good job of having his eyes on the play. Foot comes off, literally comes off an inch, maybe an inch off the bag. But right when he does, shortstop puts the tag on him. Umpire's going to say, you're out. And they're going to go nuts because it's a huge, huge play by the defense. So a few lessons. Defensively, never give up on the play. Really heads up play by... Again, whether it's the coaching staff or the shortstop, because he, even if he was taught to do this, he has to execute on it. So he quickly got the ball and went right to second base, prepared to put the tag on him. From an offensive perspective, if you're going to celebrate, you have to make sure that you stay on the bag. If this is the end of the game and the game's over, sure, go crazy. But you can't let the celebration take the focus away from actually playing the game. So that's all I have. Hopefully this will help you both if you're an offensive player and you want to celebrate as well as if you're a defensive player and always looking for a way to get a free out. So let me know if you have any more thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification, we'll give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you later.